Keith Courage is asking, this is not, uh, is this is a 980 without the TI, that's correct. This is a 980, GTX 980, running at 1080p, uh, uncapped frame rate, V-Sync off, all of that jazz. Um, and you can see what that is right now. So it's not a super modern card. We intentionally did a kind of like good but not incredibly modern card because there's this whole controversy going on right now on Reddit that really is frustrating to me. That's like a 1080 can't run it at maxed out 1440. That must mean the port is bad. But like the port's great. The port is gonna be great for 95% of the population of people who play this game. Like it really, really will be. Um, and I don't want people to get intimidated by like a high, high end maxed out edge case when you can play this, like we're playing on high settings right now uh, and getting over 60 with a 980. If you have a worse no. card than this, you can just turn uh, down the settings a little. So now we're just gonna go into this, the, the area, cause, the training area, because I want to show you the okay. one fatal the flaw with the mouse controls. First, so you can see kind of like the moves here, right? Um, and it... Yeah. It works generally, right? Like it's it's how you want it to be. Um, your space bar is your roll, control is defend, and then the way this works, and this is what it's a little weird, you have to hold Q, and then while you're moving around, you can, oh, oops. See, it, this is why it gets a little weird. Um, you hold Q, and then you left and right mouse click to change through them. But then how does the radial menu work? The radial menu you have to change the settings for. So right okay. now it's set to be with a controller, and okay. you need to set it to basically be like, to work, work with... more with a keyboard. Okay. Um, here is the point, I, I think the mouse and keyboard controls are really, really nice. Here is the point where it is broken, flat mm -hmm. out broken, is when you target things. Now okay. normally when you target things with a mouse or with a controller, you use the right stick to change targets, and that's fine because you don't attack with the right stick. Mm -hmm. And this, you change targets with your mouse, which you also need to attack with. So oh. while you're targeting, you need to not move the mouse at all while attacking, or like this happens. Like mm. this is this. I wish you guys could see. I'm like not moving my hand, like almost at all. Basically at all, and it's like incredibly sensitive. Like if I move my hand at full speed, like it gets rid of it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're just like moving your hand a little bit, it it just doesn't work. And then that happens all around. Like it's just not a good targeting system uh, for mouse and keyboard. But the nice thing is, a mouse is so much easier to track targets with. Like you, yeah, you can do is. this <laughs> really easily, and so you kind of don't need the targeting system. And anymore. there's also a button that should reorient the camera directly behind you as well. Uh, I don't know what that button is on mouse and keyboard. Hmm. Let us check. And also, um, some people have been noticing the load times on the PC version are so much better <laughs> than on the PlayStation 4. Like, incredibly. Like, the, I was so surprised Oops. when that first mission loaded up that fast. Oh, yeah? Like, usually I, like, accept a mission, I put my controller down, I, like, look at Twitter or something uh -huh. while the um, quest loads, and here it was instantaneous. Almost was immediately was able to go. Almost certainly it... Um... This is installed on an SSD, a solid state drive, mm -hmm. which is great. It's much better. Um, but yeah, I imagine if you're installing onto a hard drive, you might get similarly bad load times, yeah. maybe. Um, I don't know for sure, though. Yeah, but like, yeah that's, that's so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Is it, it does it even just between these menus? Yeah. Like, they're not they're not terrible. Like, that but load that time is, is quicker? That is definitely faster. <laughs> Especially the quest load time, specifically. Or just even loading up the game in the first place, like from getting to choosing your character to loading up the game mm -hmm. is was significantly faster on the PC. So what I want to do real fast, because we're about to run out of time, um, is we're going to go to the main menu. We're going to go show you guys the lowest setting of graphics, and we're going to go into game and show you that, and then mm -hmm. we're going to go to the highest settings of graphics. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is 1080p, and it's a 980, uh, 980 graphics card. So. This isn't the type of computer. So fast. <laughs> Don't let me to be super frank, <laughs> this is not the type of computer that can run max settings. Um, it's just not. It's it's not the type of computer that's meant to do that. It's not the type of computer that you should expect to do that. Um, so we will see what it's like. It probably is going to run fine over 30. I doubt it'll hit 60, but let us see. Finalize. Ooh, that's uglier. Look at those plants. Oh, wow. Look at those 
So this is the, the lowest settings? This is going to be the lowest graphical setting on PC with a GTX 980 graphics card. Yeah, that's not like terrible, but the anti, you can tell, right, that the aliasing is not good. Um, Ooh, it's yeah, just, it's really fuzzy, right? Like it's that's, sharp. It's, it looks really sharp. It does. But you can always go in and like, if you want to tweak it, like one of the tiny things we could do is just turn off anti-aliasing and like, it's already a little better. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little fuzzy, but like, this is the lowest possible setting. It definitely, at least it doesn't look like a potato. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, and if we turn that back off, as you can see, we're running at about 100 frames, 100, 111 now, 110. So this is running really, really well on the lowest possible settings on a 980, but it is the lowest possible settings. So now let's jump back out uh, and we'll show you the max possible settings we can do. So now this is the highest settings. Uh, and we're running at just over 40 frames per second. Yeah. This is max settings, guys. Max settings, 1080p on a, on a GTX is 980 it, graphics card. Is it prioritizing resolution or frame rate right now? That is a good question. Go back into here. So it's just on high resolution scale, okay. which means that it's not scaling the resolution at all. Okay. Um, I think, or it's not doing it much. Basically, it's just trying to run it at 1080 whenever it can. Uh, and we're hitting over 50. So like, hey, good. all the people that were saying- Let's go into a mission. <laughs> a GTX 1080 can only run it at 45 uh, at max settings on, um, max settings on 1440. At 1080, you get better than, than that frames on a 980. So like, the once again, the Reddit thread about this game runs crap is like a really bad perception of a very good running game. Um, the fact that I can now max out the settings and get 50 frames per second on this area on a 980 graphics card. Oh my God, the inverted look is crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very impressive to me. It's raining. There's plants around. We have not dropped below 40 frames yet. Like anybody that says this is a poorly optimized game is crazy. Um, there might be areas later. There might be problems we don't know about, right? But like, as I'm looking at it now, this is a very, very good port. Um, I, I think it just looks great. Also, this game is so pretty at max it's settings. It's super pretty. Anyway, we are yeah. out of time, unfortunately, but I'm glad Sorry. we were able to give you that comparison <laughs> right at the end there. Um, we're gonna be able, we're gonna have more Monster Hunter World PC coverage uh, going forward. We're going to be bringing you an update to our review a little closer to launch. Uh, we'll have a 4K gameplay video of the first 15 minutes later. We've got a lot of stuff for you. Uh, so if you like more Monster Hunter World PC stuff, be sure to read Casey's amazing IGN oh, wikis. Man. They're Thanks. so good. <laughs> I do so, have a so beginner's good. guide. I've got everything you need to know. I've got items you should have. Check that out. It's very useful. Hopefully helpful. Yeah, and for everything else Monster Hunter, we got you covered. Thanks for watching. Bye.